Hello everyone and welcome back to The Frame Channel. In the United States, wrenches feature among the most popular hand tools. They come in various sizes and shapes. In large, high-end tools manufacturing companies like Snap-on, these wrench combinations start life as large steel bars. After being cut into smaller sections, known as billets, they are forged at around 1,000 degrees Celsius before being reshaped by a 2,500-ton press. Once the ends have been precision drilled, the tools are stamped with the company logo and polished. A second 1,600 degree Celsius firing is used to strengthen the metal, which is then polished again using water and ceramic abrasives. Finally, the wrenches are strength tested, coated with nickel, and cleaned before being boxed and dispatched. The introduction of offset extension wrenches has also simplified the use of these tools, with some requiring very minimal energy input. They are mostly adapters designed to be used with all kinds of tools. Bolts start life in much the same way. Enormous steel rods are cut down to size, forged, and then pressed into a die. Each component is hardened through a second firing. Drills are then used to produce uniform holes, after which the threads are created through processes such as roll threading. The bolt surfaces are then treated with zinc to ensure longevity, and the finished products receive a final quality check before shipping. While mass production remains the most common process used in the manufacture of hand tools, new technologies are also being employed to ensure accuracy and efficiency. That's the end of this feature on The Frame. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to catch us on our next video. See you next time.